We're at the very top of the hill here above downtown Juneau. Down, before, down there peeking through the trees is the big federal building. Here we are. We're going to check out this new place here in Juneau. Some of you who have already been here to Juneau have already recognized this, but we're going to check it out. Hey everybody, so the rain finally stopped and we're now going to try to explore this new place. So apparently they built like this big wooden structure for moving water from uh, down, down a little bit to the city here. And so they built like this big wooden flume thing. And so we're going to go check it out. Just a step away from the city and you're right into the dead of nature. Waterfalls everywhere, rivers everywhere, trees everywhere, birds everywhere. It's very well traveled, so there's like big piles of... Uh, just building supplies everywhere for building up this little road. And it just looks like that's maybe water hat or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what that is. We'll, we'll check it out. It says no skateboarding, no bicycle riding, no rollerblading, no scooter riding. It doesn't say anything about old fashioned skates. So let's go grab our old fashioned skates. Here's the first part. We're on camera, you can tell. And there's the building. Looks like that's some sort of like utility house or something. And here's the flume. Look at that. No water in there right now, but isn't that crazy? Look how big that is. Look at this, just making sure that we're all safe here because there might be some hazards. Oh, and please, no shooting within a quarter mile of the flume, please. Here we go, walking down this thing. So we can walk on top, but there's the water running underneath. Although there isn't any water running underneath right now, so you can't really feel it. But I imagine you could probably feel it if it was going. We're like in the middle of the woods. Temperate rainforest. Forest. Yeah, it's like we're like, look at that. We're just kind of like just strolling in the woods on this path in the middle of nowhere. Goes way, way down there. Uh-oh. We have an issue here. Looks like a big old tree fell down onto it. The whole tree. Dang, it like crashed right into it. Uh, wouldn't it be great to have been here and seen that? It's like it caused a little bit of damage, but... Is it still structurally sound? It looks like it is. Wow. Look at that, just smashed right through it. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, are we gonna, are we gonna come out alive? We'll find out. Whoa, whoa. Like, we like barely made it through. I mean, look at that, it's nuts, isn't it? Down there's the river. That's where all that gold is. Right over here. More waterfalls. 
the hill just goes all the way up. Cool. Peter McKay. Starting to see some mountains up there. Them golden hills. Look at this massive landslide. You're just like right in the center of it. Like, whoa. Yeah, it's like, because it's just like really steep. It's hard to tell, but that's like super steep. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's peaceful. You could probably like just kind of like maybe just pitch right there on that rock and just kind of hang out. It'd be kind of nice, wouldn't it? It looks like at some point it got buried here with this landslide, which is now a huge, huge waterfall. Look at this. It just kind of came down, completely buried it, kept rolling its way down the hill. Of course, this is a pretty well-traveled path, so no worries getting through. Luckily, I brought my rain boots, so I can just tromp right through this thing. Yeah! We made it to the other side and you can kind of just see how the rock slide just kind of came down and probably all happened in a matter of seconds. Pretty nuts. Came from right up there. A trail of some sort going down there? What is down there, I wonder? Only one way to find out. Here we go. Going off the track. and going on this trail, seeing where this leads to. It should be good because look how well traveled it is. It's like super freaking muddy. I'm like, whoa! Well, looks like it's just access to the river. So we're going to keep on moving up go back up. There we go. We made it back up. Whew. That was quite a hike. There really is no absence of water here in Juneau. Water everywhere. 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 This trail is a little bit long. Should I maybe sing a song to pass the time? I had a mule, her name was Sal. 15 miles on the Erie Canal. She's a good... There's a cool bench right there. Nice. Nice. Whoa. Here we go. Here's the information about the flume. Saying that it was built in 1906 and it was part of the early mining days of Judo. Yeah, good fun.
a lot of water. Going straight out to the ocean. This is probably way less impressive on the video, but like standing right here, you can like feel the water moving. Insane. Look at that, it's like overflowing. There's so much water here that this whole thing is leaking really bad. I'd hate to see that give way while I'm standing right here. <laughs> it's Russian water. I don't see any Russians around here anywhere. Check out this old bridge. Wonder how long that's been there. Wow. Yeah. There's an old water tower right there. Pretty cool. Probably hasn't been used in a really long time though. So the utility man said that when he goes in and he has to clean it out, he's always finding little bits of gold in there, like little nuggets. And he showed me one, and I mean, they're, they're good-sized nuggets, they're like little small little nuggets. I'm wondering why this building right here has a chimney on it. Can you live in it? It's very small, but you could probably live in it. Old Man River's got a lock on it. Hey, Old Man River, let us in. Let us in. Seems like everybody on this trail, this flume trail, is jogging. And I'm the only one just sort of lazily walking it. So I keep getting these, like, looks from the locals. Lots of fun. Luckily, I'm also a local, so, well, oh well. Pretty peaceful out here. He's a good old worker, a good old pal. 15 miles on the Erie Canal, yeah. Uh oh, I think there's a hole in my boot. It's not good. I don't know if you can see down there, but there's like this bridge that's like hidden going across that crazy river. And uh, there's a way down there, but um, yeah, I'm not sure how to get there because there's this is nuts. I mean, it looks close, but there's like a crazy, crazy canyon to go down. Nose is running.
all the way up. Here's the tree again. We're just gonna have to make over like Arnold Schwarzenegger here. Ah, Arnold, Arnold, California. We made it over the tree. Yeah. And through those trees, that's where the city of Juno is. The big city downtown. And right there is Douglas Island. You can see across. That's where we were earlier when we checked out Treadwell. Yeah, lots of fun. There's a big old rock that has a bunch of quartz in it. Isn't that crazy? Probably right outside, right outside of mine. It actually turned out to be a pretty beautiful day today. I know that it looks like there's a bunch of clouds, but hey, there's some blue up there. And I know that's kind of rare for uh, here in Juneau because it rains all the time. And here we are back at the beginning where we started again, where the flume ends. And here we go. So lots of fun checking out that flume trail. And uh, yeah, there's lots of things to do here in Juneau. This one's a quick one. So, you know, maybe 20 minutes, half an hour at most, and you're, you're up and down it and back to your car. So all around good, good place to visit. Of course, that tree made things a little difficult, but uh, for the most part, uh, it, it was navigatable around. Just had to put my Arnold on. So anyway, we'll talk to you guys later. Like and subscribe for more. Check this out. They're just everywhere. Everywhere. There's Sierra.